I've been living in a hotel for around six weeks now. Today I am showing you exactly what it's like. I can assure you it's not quite normal. <laughs> six weeks is a long time to live in a hotel. This morning we're having some cereal. Uh, we're staying here just temporarily. We're gonna be moving out soon. But I'm gonna show you how we do it. Dave's currently brewing our coffees. We bought the kettle from Amazon. We have a little kaffir which we bought as well. The coffee we're using is this classic. It's really nice. We're also using the Coffee Mate Snickers creamer. Luckily, oh my gosh, we have a fridge. That was one thing I was very concerned about moving into a hotel. What if we didn't have a fridge? Like genuinely, what would we have done? It's nearly eight o'clock. We're having breakfast on our little table. Luckily, we actually have an aircon, which has been a lifesaver because it's been so hot. Today's the first day where it's kind of gloomy. It's looking a little bit back to full. But anyway, I need to do my hair. This is the reality of living in a hotel. You tidy it, and then throughout the week, it just gets a mess. There are all my leotards, and that's all my clothes. Got my winter coat. Look, there's just some bananas there. Living in a hotel, you can't be that organized. Honestly, I'm going to show you my pantry. Wow. I'm already picking up American words. Yeah, I'll show you where like we've been keeping all our food a bit later. It's quite funny. Here's our crazy sink right now. Dave's just washing. We have a little coffee machine. I don't think it works, but in the room we get like free coffee. We get this, whatever that is, like sugar and that. But I keep all of my toiletries in here. One thing I do like about this place is this is an enlarged mirror. I'll explain about some of our struggles later on. Let's make sandwiches. I'll also give you a little scan of the room in a bit. I'm just trying to get things done right now. <laughs> Well, I just made two sandwiches that fast. So this is what we have in our fridge. We've got our milk, creamer, mayonnaise, some coffee, eggs, some frosting, I don't know, teriyaki sauce, cheese, broccoli, ham, kale, and then a little ice section, which has an ice pack in it. Sandwich, banana, snack. So we had to buy a water filter jug to make sure we're not drinking anything dodgy. At first we were just drinking the tap water and then two or three people said to us like you probably shouldn't do that. So we took their advice and we got a water filter so we could been filling up our bottles before we leave. Oh, oopsie. There's something quite satisfying about drinking out of a water filter jug. Rolling. This is our rubbish situation. Basically, when we have rubbish, we have to leave it outside our room and then it gets taken away. Just like this. Let me show you our way out. This is our daily commute through the hotel. So we have to go down this long corridor. Of course, like right at the end, but we have a nice sea view of this people's rubbish. As I say later on, I'm gonna tell you the struggle we had with something. You are gonna see how on earth we actually make dinner. Probably one of our favorite things is like this little room that has an ice machine. There, ice machine and a little vendor. The amount of times we've gone in these lifts, it's actually crazy. They're quite nice lifts. There's 16 floors, we're living on the 16th floor. To get to the boardwalk, we have to walk a little bit. We've been doing it every single day and it's been fine. So the hotel we're staying in is the showboat. This is the hotel lobby. I really like the reception lobby area. Traditional and classic. There's like mini golf there. They have a little shop just here and it's so cute. And you can get a small coffee for $1.90 and the, it, the coffee is so good little tables and chairs on our first day we sat there and had breakfast it was so cute the entrance here's reception there is a racetrack which is very cool this is like the main corridor to the boardwalk so we just walk down here there's like a little i don't know like a conference hall in there where they do mma fighting i like it here i like it in this hotel it's not the fanciest of hotels compared to the other ones on this boardwalk but i like it it's not too extravagant it just feels normal yeah there's a little bar there which is quite cute usually those barriers are not locked up there's some more elevators there to the other tower there's two towers we're living in the new orleans tower this is one of my favorite parts i think it looks really cool here you can get 
food, like there's a breakfast buffet there. And then just there is our favorite little fast food diner called Bricker's Burgers. So yeah, that's our little morning walk through the hotel. This is our way out to the boardwalk. See you in a bit after work. We're back now. I wanna just show you where we've been keeping our food because we've got used to it now, but for someone coming in, they'd be like, okay it's basically all here <laughs> cereal random veg here we have some creamer we've got a massive box of pasta just some snickers we've got our coffee section hot chocolate our bowls we've got snacks here drink mixers tea we keep our bread here this is also where our plugs are which is kind of not ideal to have it all in one place but there you go on top of the fridge we've got our noodles which i'm actually going to be cooking today and you're probably thinking how are you going to cook that but i'll show you this saved our life <laughs> We got a rice cooker. We've been using it every single day since we bought it. So we literally cook everything in there. We cook noodles in there. We cook pasta in there. We cook rice in there. We cook cakes in there. We can cook pancakes in there. We can cook meat in there, veg the lot. This thing is like a mini cooker. That is basically what it is. I'm just so glad we bought it. We wouldn't have been able to eat properly if not. What I love is we can cook veg on the steamer part at the top whilst things are cooking underneath just boiled the kettle i actually love eating dry noodles it's so good noodles are in steamer is on lid is on this is really the setup like i'm cooking on a bedside table it's just become normal for me now the phone is here there's a light here there's literally a bed here i'll give you a little tour of the room in a minute whilst this is cooking i need to explain to you the struggle we had and that was getting our room cleaned. Wow, this was difficult. I don't even know where to start. We asked reception for our room to be cleaned. It never happened. We asked again. It never happened. We would literally pack all of our stuff away in our cases, tidy it all up. We'd come home and it hadn't been cleaned. We ended up using the phone and calling reception. They eventually came and they did it. So we like left the room and let them do it. Can I just say the reasoning for this was because of COVID. They had like stopped the cleaning regime. Your room was like not meant to be cleaned unless you were leaving the room which is why when the cleaners obviously saw that we were asking for our room to be clean, they were like, but it's not allowed. So that's probably why. We've had our room cleaned like a few times now because we've worked out the system. It's been quite good because at any time you can just call up reception and say like, if you need more toilet roll or body wash, you can just say, please can I have some more of that? And they'll come and bring it up. Although the past two times we've done that, literally yesterday and the day before, and they never came. It was good up till now, but it is good. Where they will give you more stuff gladly. A definite, I've actually really liked living in a hotel more than I thought I would. I feel very comfortable here. It's good because you get obviously your free toilet roll, body wash. What else do we get for free? Body lotion, shampoo, fresh towels. Our bed is made for us when they clean it. Our room gets cleaned for us when it happens. So there are a lot of pros. The hardest thing has been like, we haven't had the biggest of fridges. So we couldn't like get loads of stuff and we haven't had an oven either. Them. But this thing has just been incredible. We've just been able to cook actual meals. At the start, we were kind of struggling, to be honest. I think I'd say that's like been the only con. There's only been one night where there was a massive, massive argument outside and they were screaming and shouting at each other right outside our door. This went on for like a good half an hour, 45 minutes. It was 2, 3 a.m. And other than that, we've been pretty lucky. It's actually just been really nice living in a hotel. Just, I don't know, it's a nice vibe, atmosphere. When we first moved here after work, we could go and use the pool and like sunbathe and that. I am obsessed with the little coffee shop downstairs, the hallway, reception area I really like. At first, when I came into the room, I was like, it's not the nicest rooms I've ever stayed in, but now I've been here, I'm like kind of attached to it. I like it. The hotel's old, so obviously the carpets are old and 
like the chairs are a bit old now so they could be replaced but other than that it's been great this is like our little dinner table where we eat basically and yeah these were the chairs that i was talking about they're a little bit old but honestly this has been my favorite part of this room i love the view it's just really nice to look out on i was never like a huge view girl but honestly a city view i love let's try the noodles i make these really good i'm not gonna lie <laughs> these forks were the only forks we could find so yeah they are plastic and they are probably for kids i'm actually gonna switch on the tv see what's going on i think this tv is actually huge for a hotel room usually they're smaller i mean we have things like blocking the view but it's okay I'm gonna watch that and eat you know when i was saying i make cakes in that rice cooker i wasn't kidding we're making banana cake. I'm just gonna give you a quick little glance at the room. It's very messy because we're just having a little bit of a sort out. But yeah, I wanna show you. This is what we've been living in for six weeks. This is our shower. This has been actually quite powerful. It's kind of handy to have something where you can put your stuff. In the bathroom, there's like obviously the towels, but they have these cool like old fashioned photos. And these were like pictures of Atlantic City. I don't know what year that was, but it's quite cool. We've had a hair dryer. I think I've used it once because I let my hair air dry. Anyway, this is the door. We've actually had two beds. We've had a double bed here and a double bed there. <laughs> this has been our area for food and the TV. I've shown you before, like all my stuff is here. And then our little dinner area. So yeah, it's a pretty big room. I definitely think like if it was just a room just with the bed and not all this section, I feel like it would have been a lot harder to live in. Let's see if the cake is done. It's hard to know. Oh, it's done, quick. When we actually came here, we didn't have a kettle and we like having cup of teas. Usually in the UK in hotels, there's always a kettle in there and also like little pots of milk as well to make your coffee or tea, whatever. As I showed you, we did buy a kettle and tea bags. We got Yorkshire tea from Amazon <laughs> and so we can have a cuppa. But that was another thing. We were like, oh, it's not ideal. <laughs> Overall, living in a hotel has not been as hard as I thought it was gonna be. I've actually really enjoyed it and it's been a fun little experience probably will never be staying in a hotel for this long ever again thank you so much as always for watching you'll be seeing me very soon in the next one